Parents and Siblings Intro 1. Muhammad Ali Jinnah was born on December 25, 1876, in Karachi, which was then a part of British India. 2. He was the second of seven children born to Jinnah I Punja, a merchant, and Mithabai Jinnah. Early Life 1. Jinnah grew up in Karachi and later moved to Bombay, now Mumbai, for his education. 2. His early exposure to politics and law sparked his interest in fighting for the rights of the Indian Muslim community. Education 1. Jinnah completed his early education in Karachi and then pursued higher studies in London, where he studied law. 2. He excelled in his legal studies, earning him the title of Quaid e Azam, great leader, later in life. Affairs, Spouses, and Children 1. Jinnah married Ratan Bai Petit in 1918, and they had one daughter, Dina Jinnah. 2. Unfortunately, his marriage faced difficulties, and Ratan Bai passed away in 1929. 3. He remained dedicated to his political career, and his focus was primarily on the struggle for Indian independence. Personal Wealth 1. Jinnah was a successful lawyer, which brought him financial stability. 2. However, he did not amass personal wealth and dedicated himself to the cause of his people. Influence 1. Muhammad Ali Jinnah's influence was profound as he became the voice of the Indian Muslim community during the struggle for independence. 2. He was a respected leader and statesman known for his impeccable integrity and unwavering commitment to his principles. Achievements 1. Jinnah is best known for his role in the creation of Pakistan, a separate nation for Muslims, in 1947. 2. He led the All India Muslim League and negotiated tirelessly with the British and Indian leaders to achieve this goal. 3. He became Pakistan's first Governor General and later its first President. Reason for Death 1. Muhammad Ali Jinnah passed away on September 11, 1948, at the age of 71. 2. He had been suffering from a prolonged illness, including tuberculosis. Place and Time of Death 1. Jinnah died in Karachi, Pakistan, the city of his birth, which holds special historical significance for the nation. 2. His death marked a profound moment in Pakistan's early history. Legacy 1. Jinnah is revered as the father of the nation in Pakistan for his role in its creation. 2. His vision of a separate Muslim state led to the birth of Pakistan on August 14, 1947. 3. Jinnah's principles of unity, faith, and discipline continue to guide Pakistan's national ethos. 4. His speeches and leadership continue to inspire leaders and citizens alike, not only in Pakistan but around the world. 5. His mausoleum in Karachi stands as a symbol of his enduring legacy and commitment to the cause of Pakistan. Additional points 1. Jinnah's insistence on the protection of the rights of religious minorities in Pakistan is a testament to his commitment to pluralism. 2. His dedication to constitutionalism and democratic principles laid the foundation for Pakistan's governance system. 3. Jinnah's distinctive attire, including his impeccable suits and distinctive caps, became iconic and synonymous with his image as a leader. 4. He was known for his eloquence and persuasive oratory skills, which he used effectively to communicate his vision. 5. Muhammad Ali Jinnah's life and leadership continue to be celebrated annually on Pakistan's Independence Day, a testament to his enduring importance in the nation's history.